Okay, so we're moving on to lost property. This is another formal one, and we need some fixed expressions. Um, this was quite a nice one because one of you will be the person working in the lost property office at the bus station, the railway station, or something like this. Um, and you just need a whole load of formal expressions like, how can I help you, madam? How can I help you, sir? Um, what seems to be the problem? You know, all those kind of things. Um, could I just take down some details, please? If you learn those ones, you know, you're pretty much sorted with the language. The other person, of course, you've got more information and more input about what it is that you've actually lost. So let's look at some details. This is still a formal situation, but it needs some other language. It needs things like, can you describe it? When did you last see it? Did you notice any suspicious activity? You know, maybe somebody stole it. Can you describe the contents? What was inside the bag? So here's an example. <laughs> and it's the, the one that I keep using as an example. You are in a bus station. A, you are a passenger who has lost a bag containing important personal possessions on the bus. You go to cust the customer service desk at the bus station to report it. Describe your bag, the contents, and when and where exactly you lost it. I would say you should use your uh, pencil and some paper and the paper that's on the desk to write down some notes because you will forget details if you're not careful. B, you are the bus station's customer service manager. You listen and ask questions, and then you agree on the next step. Okay. Describe your bag. You know, it's a large green hold all. The contents, it contained £50,000, and I lost it on the number 57 bus from Kempston to the town centre. Candidate B says, oh, there's a green bag here. No, wait one second. Uh, I'm afraid nobody has handed in a bag yet. Can I take down some details and we'll contact you if somebody brings it to us? Okay, that's the idea. You might, your next step might be to phone or email the person. If the phone was in the bag, then of course you can only email the person.